Over the past few days, the weather conditions have allowed the Allied Air Forces to hit German supply depots hard, causing their offensive to rapidly lose momentum. Patton's 3rd Army is on track to reach Bastogne today, ending the siege there. My day started by looking at my new aircraft that was scrapped together by Mechanic Zachary and company. The aircraft also sported a brand new paint job with bucket of bolts written along the side. This was done by an armorer who we all call Raptor Attacker. I was thrilled with my new paint job. The mission for today is a free hunt as a flight of eight. It should be quite the show, despite my cold. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to another exciting episode of IL-2 Battle of Bodenplatte. Well, today we're starting in the hangar, which is a little different than normal, mostly because I wanted to showcase this awesome new skin that was made by Raptor Attacker, who has who makes a lot of skins for IL-2, and I'll link his thread down below on the IL-2 forum, because he has lots of good stuff in there. But he made the Bucket of Bolts! skin for my aircraft and it looks quite nice we have the blue nose and then uh lots of w's oh boy that uh popped up but overall i'm quite happy with it and i just wanted to say uh thank you raptor attacker for making the skin it's pretty awesome so we went ahead and loaded out our aircraft and uh the bucket of bolts name obviously comes from zachary cypher's mechanics logs which are normally pinned down below so definitely give those a read they're quite awesome as well so while I'm here, I'll go ahead and go over the flight path. We're taking off at Y29 here, and we're going on a free hunt. We're just going to go around and uh, stir up some trouble on the German side of the lines. It should be quite fun, and there are eight of us all together. So let's go ahead and get on the runway and get this show on the road. Um, I am kind of sick uh, at the moment, so hopefully it's not too distracting or too annoying, but I did want to actually upload this episode. Out. While I could let's go ahead Out. and start that. All right, and it looks like he's rolling. He's rolling. Let's go ahead and get flaps down 10%. And I think we're hunky dory here. <clears throat> and he's rolling. I can't really see, so I'm assuming I'm clear for takeoff. Let's go ahead and start throttling up here. This is flight. Airborne. Over. All right, there we go. In our new aircraft, Bucket of Bolts. I'm going to try not to scratch the paint so much during the sortie. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get shot down. I do want to bring it back home safely at least once. Let's go ahead and rotate. Airborne gear up. Flaps up. Lights off. Perfect. And this is a fairly short sortie. Uh, the Germans have pushed rather close to our airfield right now. So it should be very quite interesting. I do expect we will encounter German aircraft in the area as we normally do. Let's see here. Also, another thing, I disabled the navigation icons. Uh, so I can't see my plane on the map anymore. So I have to navigate by eye, which should be quite fun. We do have a Bindex radio compass somewhere in here. I will find it and get back to you guys on that. I guess I should have looked where it was on the onset. But I'm going to go ahead and stay in formation. Hopefully I don't get lost here. But we should be able to find our aircraft A-OK. -okay. Our aircraft, our airfield is quite distinctive, as you can see. So with all that out of the way, we'll get on to our sortie here. Then I'll get back to you guys when something exciting happens. I'm going to go ahead and just go into continuous mode here and just start cruising. So I was looking into it, and apparently the Bindex in the P-51 is a thing I actually have to take. So we are navigating blind. The Bindex is normally right there below the carburetor air gauge. So, yikes. That's okay, though. I'm going to try to stick with my flight, and hopefully I don't get lost. Um, someone's saying engage nearest air target. That's concerning, although we're all just flying nice and level here, so I'm not sure. But I'm going to go ahead and form up on my flight. I just wanted to give you guys that brief update. Okay, my flight is breaking pretty hard. I think they might have spotted something. Oh, God, what is... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was scary. I want to avoid a mid-air collision here. So I'm going to go ahead and just get out of the way and let them situate themselves. Those are P-51s. God, there's a lot of us. Um, what are those down there? 
Those are Mustangs too. Wow, I just must have gotten a lot of distance between me and my comrades. Wow, I'm a little confused now. <clears throat> well, I'll go ahead and form up right up here. And see. Yep, this is my flight. There's quite a few contacts way out there. Might have encountered a different flight. And it looks like my flight is boosting. Okay, yeah, there's all sorts of crap over there. Not all of those can be friendly. Right? Oh, man, there's tracer fire. So that's a telltale sign that there are baddies in the area. So I'm going to go ahead and start climbing. And I'm going to throttle down just a smidge. Let's see, what do we got going on? Looks like Fock Wolves. I already have my gun conversion set. Or, uh, I mean my... <clears throat> my wingspan set. Hello. Missed him. Damn. Let's go loop back around. There he is. Down low. Tracking him. There's a parachute. Someone got shot down. Hopefully not one of ours. Looks like there's a Mustang on my friend. Go hits. Looks like the other Mustang is laying into him. Let's go ahead and throttle back. If he wants to get him, he can get him. See nothing on my six, thankfully. We're all clear. Alright, other Mustang's breaking off. Hopefully I can finish him off now. There we go. He's done. Wow, that gyro gun sight really did work there. That was awesome. And that's the FW-190. What? I think that's an A-8 right there. Yep. Okay, let's go ahead. What the hell is that? Okay, there's a FW-190 way down low. Splash. Let's look for more targets. It looks like the skies are just filled with P-51s. So I think we're A-okay here. Wee! That, that was a Mustang. Good thing I didn't pull the trigger there. Let's go ahead and throttle back and assess. Looks like these are all Mustangs. Oh, there's a German. Let's try not to black out. Like, we are swarming this port. Whoa, that tracer fire got awfully close to me. Do not appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get on at 6 o'clock. Something. That's a parachute in my rear view mirror. Okay, get nice and close. Hits. And he's bailing out. Nope, I guess he's not. I thought he really was. He's getting shot at some more. Wow, he's still airborne. Uh, maybe not. He's getting shot at a little more. Wow. All right, let's come back down. All 
Alright, we'll let them get them. They're doing pretty good work. We're all just circling this one poor German aircraft like a bunch of sharks. What, there's four of us just circling this one guy? Oh, man, if I were him, I would have bailed out by now. It ain't worth it. <laughs> Alright, he's still flying. I guess I'll come in. Oh shit. Okay, good. We didn't completely black out. We didn't lose control. What the hell is that? It's a Mustang. It scares me when they come in like that. I always think they're uh, BF-109 something or something coming in to uh, just obliterate me. It looks like this uh, Focke Wolf's having engine trouble now. Whoa! And I think I got him there. Splash 2. Alright, let's give our engine a little bit of a break. Give it a breather. Been pushing it kind of a. Uh, pushing it here during this combat, but it looks like the skies are clear from. Uh, enemy aircraft. I do not see it anymore. So that was a nice little bit of action there. Hopefully my whole flight is still alive. There they are. I'm going to go ahead and group up with them. There's a parachute. Looks like I wonder if that's from that uh, FW-190 if he bailed out in time. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and form up with my flight and keep my eyes peeled for any more activity. But I do want to try to stick with my flight here because uh... <laughs> I don't have a radio beacon. I could always navigate by myself, but uh, that might take a little bit more time than if I just follow everyone home. So I will see you guys soon. More FW-190s. Uh, they just kind of popped out of nowhere here. All right, passing that one. Yeah, it looks like they were flying nice and low, probably going on a bombing run on our side of the lines. We. I'm pretty sure we are behind our side of the lines. I was kind of surprised to see them here. But they were hanging out nice and low. My flight lead started diving, and I was like, oh boy. I lost them. Shoot. <clears throat> Someone got one. Uh, tracer fire right there. There we go. There's one on the six of a Mustang. Let's go ahead and pour on the coals here and try to catch them real fast. Actually, I think that's two Mustangs on a uh, FW-190. Throwing lots of fire down range. I don't think there's very many of them. I think it was only a flight of uh, probably three. Three or so. With. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. That was scary. That scared the absolute hell out of me. <laughs> A little too close for comfort. All right. Well, thankfully, we're alive. My friends know how to pull out of the way. Okay. And there... It's a Mustang. There's just a sea of Mustangs here. Which is good. It makes me think that uh, not very many of us were shot down during this sortie. Got a snapshot. Oh, got him. Thick black smoke coming from his engine. And we are... My pilot is not happy right now. Come on, buddy. Alright, let's go ahead and come in. Getting awfully close to these guys. Colliding. Ooh, he got ripped up. There we go. I think he's... Yeah, he's done. Go ahead and pull up. 
I don't think I actually got credit for that one, but that's fine. There we go. There's the explosion down there. Let's see. What else do we have going on here? Um, that's a P-51. Yeah, I think uh, it's clear skies from here. I think everyone is done. I think uh, we dispatched, disposed of all those pesky German planes, but I did not get credit for that last one. That's okay. I'm glad. I'm happy to see my AI uh, brethren actually doing some good this time. So, all right. Well, we'll continue on home. Dead ahead. As you can see, there's some landing lights already there. I wonder who's landing there. Possibly another flight. I know uh, we share this airfield with those P-47s we saw last time, so it could be interesting. We'll see. Let's go ahead and flip on our lights. Uh, my flight is hanging out way up there, but I'm going to go ahead and come on in for my landing. I cannot make out what those are way down there. Let's go ahead and fly by them and take a look. Oh, well, we got landing clearance. Alright, well. This is Over. Over Whoa! Leader, They're Brits that are landing. Okay, that's interesting. Let's. Are they Spitfires? It looks like they're. I don't know, man. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and come on in here. Start killing off airspeed. Perfect. Okay, start braking. That was a little hot, but uh, not too bad. Could be a lot worse. We didn't break anything. Uh, that's always a plus. And let's get the hell off of the runway before uh, these Brits come in and smash into me. Let's go ahead and... Come on, buddy. Let's go ahead and taxi off onto a taxiway. Three. Flight requesting landing approach. Over. Yay, so that was actually quite a lot of fun, and for once, my P-51 is absolutely spotless. It looks great. Looks fantastic. No bullet holes, no nothing, no scratches. Just uh, perfect all around, just like I took off with her. So, let's go ahead and finish the mission. See how my flight did, see how everyone did. Alright, successful sortie. 39 minutes and I shot down two FW-190s and hopefully no one of my comrades got shot down that's really what I'm worried about <laughs> my uh, my AI comrades tend to, tend to kill themselves oh I've been awarded the air medal with two bronze oak leaf clusters and also the silver star how thoughtful that's pretty cool all right, let's see. Oh my goodness. So two people got killed, or no, one got killed. Michael Kelly was killed in action, and uh, Robert Powell, who I think is actually the squadron commander, he's a major, was uh, wounded, unfortunately. But other than that, we did fairly well. Ronald Murphy got one kill, Michael Henderson one, and Casey Allen got one. And I, of course, got two. Let's, what does that bring our total to? Should be able to see down here. So we've shot down 11 planes, destroyed six vehicles. Not too shabby. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching as always. I apologize for missing uh, last week's episode. Uh, sorry about that. I, I've been fairly busy the past few weeks and then I'm sick. So hopefully that's not too distracting during this episode. If it is, I do apologize. Hopefully it'll all be back to normal within the next week. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Raptor Attacker, for the skin. It's awesome. I really do appreciate it. And uh, thank you, Zachary, for your awesome mechanics logs that are always pinned down below. So if you haven't seen those, definitely definitely check those out. They're very well written. And uh, thank you all for just commenting and all that. So thanks. I will see you guys on the next one, as always.